Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you this very fast and easy Photoshop Elements portrait effect. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon a couple of times to get notifications of my new videos. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, let's get to it. Now, as I mentioned, this is a very fast and very easy effect. It doesn't always work, but when it does, it's a really nice look. I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm first going to get rid of that layer right there. Let's delete that. Here's the original image. Start by making a duplicate of your background layer. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. There we go. Now, on this layer, we'll be applying an effect. Go up here to Filter. Come down to Filter Gallery. It's the second one down here. Filter Gallery. And in here, come into the sketch section right there and come down to torn edges. There it is. You have three options over here, image balance, smoothness, and contrast. Image balance will start off at about the midpoint here and smoothness. These are all be kind of, you know, midpoint stuff like this. Start with the image balance and move this back and forth until you find a nice setting that gives you good detail but still has some interest in there and then move the smoothness to the right. This is going to bring back a lot of the little details. You'll find a spot towards the top where it tends to block up. So come back off of that just a little bit. You can see it right there, there's just kind of blocking up. Come back off that just a touch. And then on contrast, this will be the darkness of your dark areas. The further up this is, the lighter those get, the further down the darker those get. So what you want is to find a good spot where you have a nice rich black and it looks like right around in here it looks pretty good on this one. So it makes just a real nice kind of straight black and white image similar to using the much simpler threshold control but you have more options over here to get a good version. Okay go ahead and choose OK. There it is. Now all I have left to do is just to blend this into our color layer. That's right here blend mode and overlay and boom it's done. It's that fast and that easy. Let me show you this two more times here. We'll try this one. Same exact thing. Start off by making a duplicate layer. There it is. Choose OK. Go up to Filter. It's the second line right there. Filter Gallery. In the torn edges again right down here. And then work with your image balance to get a nice balance of detail and tones. Looks like this one is well, right around in here somewhere maybe like that. Your smoothness should be pretty high. Look for where it begins to drop off and then back it off from that point. And then just double check the black values. Looks pretty good right there. Choose OK. And then overlay. And boom, there it is. OK. One more. We'll do this one. Right click. Duplicate layer. Choose OK. Back to our filter gallery. Same exact thing. Now she's a bit more on the light side, so it'll take a bit of a change here in the balance to go to the right a bit to get more of her detail back in. Too left is too far, too right is way too blocky, so try to find a spot where you have enough detail in the face so the face looks good. And then just let the hair go where the hair goes. I think that's pretty good. Double check the tolerance in here. Looks like right about there. And double check the contrast. Looks pretty good right about there. Choose OK and then blend mode and overlay and there it is. A little different look. She's a much lighter picture. It tends to give you different effects as you can see here. This is a mid-tone picture, this is a light picture, and this is a dark picture. So kind of a different effect depending upon the values in the original picture. But they all have a real nice, really interesting look to them. And as you saw, it's very, very fast and very easy to do. So there we go. That's a fast little threshold effect using that torn edges filter in the filter gallery. And don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on share and subscribe as well. And definitely check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. Link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.